dividing one part of Wheat Ridge. Many people there say their neighborhood being held hostage by vicious dogs who have attacked before. But the owner says it's his neighbors who are vicious. Investigative reporter Heidi Hemmen is live with both sides in this Fox 31 exclusive. Heidi? Well, Valerie Sparks says she's afraid to walk in her very own neighborhood unless she's carrying this baseball bat. Another resident tells me that he actually carries pepper spray just in case. They're not the only ones who live here who say the dogs who are just down the street are posing a threat for people and their pets. But the owner of the dog disagrees. Bert is breathing a little easier after saving his owner from a dog attack. I was petrified. I think I think I couldn't move. Go get it. Go get it. Valerie Sparks was walking her Irish wolfhound mix when the neighbor's dogs, who were off leash, surrounded her. They had him around the neck, both of them at the same time. Bert took the brunt of the attack. I thought Bert was going to die because these dogs were out for blood. His injuries are healing. I thought we were going to get hurt, seriously hurt. Good boy. But Valerie will never be the same. So I just froze my traps and I said, Frank, he's going to get us. Gloria Millis is scared too. We're good people. She refuses to walk without her 80-year-old husband. I'm afraid now. I won't go by myself. After the same dogs try to attack her. They are just a few of the residents who claim their neighborhood has gone to the dogs because of two aggressive animals. Are your dogs dangerous? No. No, in fact, they, um, actually the neighbors up there are dangerous. Chris Glore owns the dogs. I don't know what they're talking about. He admits his animals have been aggressive to other pets, but not to people. <laughs> to prove it, he let us meet them. I don't care what this guy tells you. He would have got us. Still, Gloria disagrees. Good boy. And so does Valerie. She fears the next victim won't be as lucky as Bert. Vicious dogs have no place in the neighborhood with older people and children that like to play. Now the owner of the dogs has been cited by the Wheat Ridge Police Department with two counts of having aggressive animals. He will have to appear in court on April 2nd and he will likely receive a fine. But this dog fight is not over yet because the owner of the dog says he's now planning on filing harassment charges against his neighbors. Ron? All right, Heidi, watching the piece. We saw you were around the dogs. So what do you think? You know, Ron, they were very nice to me, but, you know, dogs and most people like me as well. Even the owner admitted, though, that the dogs are only aggressive around other animals. I didn't have any pets with me. So everybody likes you, I think, is what you're saying. <laughs> exactly. Okay. <laughs> Heidi, thanks very much. Okay.